Thousands of what are being called penis fish have washed up on the shore of a California beach. Not only that, one kid says he even found one in his mother's nightstand. A man in Kansas was arrested after he was caught having sex with the tailpipe of a car. The sex was described as exhausting. A new study shows that Beaumont, Texas is the least educated city in the country. Oh man, wait until they don't read about this. In the latest episode of Gwyneth Paltrow's new Netflix show, Sex, Love, and Goop, a sexologist explained how people can experience full body orgasms while fully clothed without touching, which is also what happens when your mom watches Bridgerton. Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversations. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. A man in Oregon who had collapsed in his house was saved after his local Domino's Pizza became concerned he hadn't called in his regular order and sent a driver to check on him. It's all part of Domino's new slogan, you die when we say you die. <laughs> Trump advisor Stephen Miller also wants to hold migrants seeking asylum in tent cities. Fun fact, tent city is also what Stephen Miller gets anytime a girl talks to him. <laughs> Police in Canada will soon start making people caught drinking and driving listen to Nickelback. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to all you drunk drivers out there. Make sure the crash kills you. <laughs> it was announced that... Creed singer Scott Stapp will play Frank Sinatra in an upcoming movie. But the good news is, Sammy Davis Jr. will be played by Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> but we can up that on Michael Che. <laughs> I'm calling just good night. Residents on Staten Island are upset with the local man who keeps a pet horse in his yard saying the animal smells and attracts flies. But you know what else smells and attracts flies? Staten Island. <laughs> Officials at JFK Airport say that a suitcase containing more than 100 pounds of cocaine was left unclaimed at the luggage carousel. For reference, here's what 100 pounds of cocaine looks like. <laughs> Lawyers for R. Kelly, who's being held without bail, are complaining that the singer is only allowed to visit with one of his girlfriends at a time. Worse, visiting hours conflict with the schedule of their middle school. <laughs> And in this week's presidential porno recap, Trump's <laughs> personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, who's definitely a candidate for friend of the year, said that he used funds from his own home equity line to pay $130,000 to silence Stormy Daniels. Can anyone in America imagine taking out a home equity loan to help their friend pay off a porn star? <laughs> the best part is, you know that right after Cohen settled up with Stormy, Trump saw another porn star and was like, she's pretty cute too. And Cohen's like, dude, I'm gonna lose my house. Police in Florida arrested a man in a local Target for masturbating with an Olaf doll. <laughs> Worse, he let it go. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts have declared that Hillary Clinton is the first ET candidate after she pledged to release government files on UFOs and Area 51. Unfortunately, the aliens keep all their files on a private email server. <laughs> Joe Biden is now the frontrunner and just picked up an endorsement from Michigan's governor only days before the state's primary. And it makes sense that Michigan would love Biden because it kind of looks like a hand trying to touch a lady's hair. <laughs> space agency said that the landing of a spacecraft on a comet this week was rougher than they initially thought, with the probe bouncing twice before landing. Only twice, said Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Experts say, experts say that by 2026, Disney Plus will surpass Netflix to become the top streaming platform in the world. Not so fast, said Pornhub. <laughs> DC, DC Comics announced that the new Superman will be bisexual. Yes, they uh, also announced that the Riddler has always been down for whatever. <laughs> by the way, can the media please stop getting us all riled up with headlines like, will porn star bring down president? Is Mueller moving in for the kill? Just stop teasing us if there's no payoff. I'll tell the media the same thing I told my high school girlfriend. I'm totally fine waiting, but then you gotta stop rubbing the outside of my pants. <laughs> and I 
get that it's hard to pronounce a lot of these names, but that's what makes award shows so fun. I mean, just imagine John Travolta as he introduces the wickedly talented Davido Olajuwon. <laughs> Amazon announced that their new Lord of the Rings TV series will be called Rings of Power, though I'm personally more excited for the spin-off, Gollum in Paris. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky made a televised speech during Sunday's Grammy Awards. It was a heartfelt, impassioned plea to help the people of Ukraine, but missed an opportunity for a legendary G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> Some military experts have been surprised that despite having superior firepower, the Russian army has been slowed by aging equipment, poor motivation, and inept leadership. So basically, they're the Lakers. <laughs> A new lawsuit accuses Burger King of falsely advertising their Whoppers as bigger than what people actually get. It's the same accusation made in the case of women versus Michael Che. <laughs> Many of the members of Congress attending the State of the Union wore blue and yellow to show their support for Ukraine, while Kamala Harris wore all brown to do what she's done for the last year, disappear into the background. <laughs> After McDonald's announced it would stop doing business in their country, Russians have begun hoarding their sandwiches, including some honorary Russians. <laughs> Serena Williams criticized the New York Times after it mistakenly printed a picture of her sister, Venus Williams, and labeled it as Serena. Worse, the Times then sent an apology letter to Wendy Williams. <laughs> Intelligence officials are saying that Vladimir Putin is being misinformed by his advisors about how badly the Russian military is performing in Ukraine, which is kind of like Will Smith's agent telling him, you crushed it at the Oscars. <laughs> Yesterday, Will Smith resigned from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences. He wasn't going to, but then Jada gave him that look. After the U.S. ban on Russian oil, gas prices hit a record high of $4.30 a gallon, which is so expensive that America, we might have to move back in with our ex. Come on, Iraq. You know we never stop loving you, baby. If Will Smith had been expelled, he would have joined a small group of people kicked out of the Academy, including Bill Cosby, Roman Polanski, and Harvey Weinstein. Or, as they're also known, bad boys for life. Obama returned to the White House for the first time in five years, and jokingly, he jokingly referred to Joe Biden as vice president. Hey, Barack, don't confuse him. <laughs> Fans of the hit HBO show Euphoria have been harshly criticizing the series creator for sexualizing the high school characters. Plus, it's just not accurate. I mean, take it from me, no one has sex in high school. <laughs> I also really love that the reason they let Will Smith stay in the audience was that they asked Chris Rock and he said it was okay. So now we just ask the victim right after they get hit in the head? Hey, you cool if the guy who just attacked you hangs around for a while? You don't want to make him mad again. <laughs> the new HBO show Gilded Age is being praised for highlighting wealthy black families that lived in New York in the late 1800s until they were driven out by wealthy industrialist Colin Jost I. <laughs> I think we should just acknowledge that that was one of the craziest things we will ever see in our lives. It's truly like the Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction, but if Janet's nipple slapped Timberlake. <laughs> Producers for this year's Oscars announced that presenters will include John Travolta and Lupita Nyong'o, or as Travolta calls her, the wickedly talented Lucretia Barnabas. <laughs> Health officials in Washington, D.C. confirmed that a fox that bit a congressman near the Capitol had rabies. Officials suspect the fox contracted rabies when it was bitten by Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Governors in several states, including New Hampshire, Ohio, and Utah, have banned the sale of Russian-made vodka. 
No word yet on brides. <laughs> I think, honestly, I think a real punishment would be to make Will Smith host next year's Oscars. <laughs> Because trust me, nothing will make you question your choices in life more than hosting an award show. <laughs> Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our planet's is drowning, it's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the landfill and mountain of despair. But we can change course, show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand An alligator in Florida was photographed swimming with a football in its mouth Turning now to sports news, Tom Brady is missing <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday was International Women's Day, so hopefully you remember to smile. <laughs> Germany is now joining the EU to send arms to Ukraine, which is the first time Germany has ramped up military production since that little six-year gap in their history books. <laughs> Justice Jackson was honored Friday at a White House ceremony and said, we have come a long way toward perfecting our union, which is a direct quote from Ben Affleck's proposal to J-Lo. <laughs> it was reported that Queen Elizabeth II has permanently moved out of Buckingham Palace, and this is weird, in with John Mayer. <laughs>